Hey guys, so I was sitting downstairs in my new apartment. As you can see, backdrop is a little different. Um, <clears throat> eating my dinner. Well, kind of dinner. It's a very light dinner. It's pretty hot here, as you can see. Took a dip in the pool. <sighs> what was I going for? Oh yes, I was going, I was eating my dinner and I was thinking, this would be a great video to make because this recipe is so easy, so nutritious, and so good that I just thought I'd share it with you. And another reason why I want to share it with you is because I've always wanted to start getting into more um, health-related videos, just not sure how to jump into it. This doesn't mean I'm going to abandon the skincare videos at all. Actually, I have a little tidbit at the end of this video for you for hair. Um, but yeah, I thought this would be a good little segue. Start off with maybe a few recipes, then maybe more informational um, facts and things like that. But anyways, I'm a huge health nut. If you maybe didn't pick that up in my previous videos, but um, if you just take a look at my subscriptions, you can you'll see. <laughs> um, but yeah, been interested in natural health and holistic health and nutrition for years. Just kind of the way I've been brought up, just been, yeah, mostly my mom and just the critical side of my dad and, I don't know, or not critical, cynical. Cynical? Just always question information that you're given and things like that. Yeah, I think I'll just leave that at that. <clears throat> Anyways, so this recipe that I'm going to share is a kale salad. And you're probably thinking, ew, raw kale, that's disgusting. I'm going to be chewing on it for five years, and it's going to taste super bitter and gross. It is so good. This recipe is actually <clears throat> from um, Karen Noller, I believe. I got this recipe, or found this recipe on her YouTube page quite a while ago. And it almost a year ago, actually, I think. No, maybe a little less than a year. And I've tried it out a couple times. It's really, really good. So what you need... I don't remember the exact, like, ratio of these things. I just kind of throw in <clears throat> different amounts of whatever. <laughs> and uh, call it a day. So basically you need kale. You can use dino kale. I use curly kale because I, I like the texture of it better. You need avocado, you need tomato, you need lemon juice, and a little salt and pepper. I actually didn't use pepper in this because I don't have any right now. And I don't use it a whole heck of a lot. But anyways, so basically what you do, you take your kale as much as you want, slice it down the middle. You know how it comes like a leafy kale and there's like that hard part in the middle? You slice that stuff off and then you make little strips. Or just like bite-sized little pieces. Basically cut small pieces that you can chew. Or fit into your mouth instead of like a ah. That was probably a pretty bad graphic. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, and then you take avocado. For I had like twice as much as this. Well, it looks like a whole bowl here. I had like twice as much as this. And I, I used like a fourth of an avocado because avocado, that's all I had. I didn't want to open up my other one. And that seemed to work fine. You basically just mash it in and, um, onto the kale leaves and you coat the kale with it. And it, <clears throat> it takes this fluffy mass of kale and it kind of shrinks it down a little bit. It weighs, weighs it down. And then you juice a lemon. I used half a lemon, probably more than I needed, but I really like the lemon. The lemon is key. You have to have lemon. It's so good. Pour that in there. Stir it up. Kind of let it sit there for a second because the... The lemon really makes it, I, I think it's, it makes it more palatable or like something, I don't know what the chemistry is, but it's really good. And then I threw some tomatoes in. Ooh. Tomatoes are really, really good. Oh my gosh, there's so many at my co-op right now. Mm. Delish. Put a little salt and pepper on it, call it a day, you're done. That's it. And it's so good. You guys have to try this. If you've never had raw kale before, I never had raw kale before I had this salad, but it's really good. It tastes really different too. 
try it out, you'll love it. Check out Karen Noller. She's a raw foodist, and she has a whole bunch of raw food recipes and things like that. This is kind of, is this the first one I tried of hers? I think it was the first one I tried right when I was getting interested in raw food. I'm not a raw foodist, but I do appreciate raw food. One of my favorite restaurants in Berkeley is actually um, Cafe Gratitude. So I'm not a vegan either, so don't freak out. But yeah, raw food is really good. So go check it out, try this recipe, and wait for more videos. Bye. So silly me, I totally forgot the health tip. Or, not the health tip. The um, the skincare huh, thingy that I do, kind of. Um, basically, when you're after you after you mash in the avocado, you're gonna have your hands covered in this stuff. So basically, you can take your hair. I actually did this today. You can take your hair down if you're a girl, if you have it up. Look how blonde my hair is. It's slightly wet, and just rub it into the ends of your hair, and all the oils. It's a wonderful conditioner for your hair. And then what I'm going to do after I do this video, I'm going to put jojoba oil in the hair. And I have really fine hair and it's fairly oily up here. So I'm just going to do it like here. I get a lot of breakage and then I'm going to take it down to the back of here and down to the tips. Leave that in there for a little while, as long as you want really. And um, <clears throat> just wash it out or not wash it out. You have to shampoo it out. But, you're, oh my gosh, it does, it's so nice. It's First time I did this, I was worried about putting oil in my hair. But I washed it out, my hair was so light and fluffy and just wonderful. So, yeah, try that out. Tell me what you think.